So I don't know what this video is going to be exactly, whether or not it's just going to be kind of a podcast form, maybe I'll throw up some sort of gameplay, maybe something from the live streams I had done over the past 24 hours or so with the NHL 19 beta. I don't know what I'm going to do. Most of you will treat this as background noise anyway, so maybe I'll just have it be a blank image and then that way, you know, you can just treat it as background noise and I'll be able to uh, render it more quickly. Anyway, this video, aside from the fact that there might be gameplay, there might not be gameplay, this video might be weird for some of my viewers, if not the majority, uh, due to the drastically different tone. But it does just go to show how genuine my thoughts are when it comes to NHL 19 and what we've seen with the beta so far. Which is, to put it simply, the gameplay in NHL 19's beta is the best gameplay the NHL series has ever had. Period. Which, some people are saying, oh, it's the best of the newer generations, which is obvious i gotta be honest and you'll hear it throughout this i think it's the best gameplay that the nhl series has ever had 94 2005 6 2003 2010 12 13 14 whatever this is it i'm not new to playing hockey based video games i'm not new to the nhl series for whatever my opinion's worth i truly believe that 19 has the potential to be the best game in franchise history as i said the tone of this video might surprise some people, not only because, of course, this is a somewhat scripted video, although I've already rambled. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've already rambled quite a bit, and I'll continue to do so. Uh, but, you know, aside from the fact that it's a scripted video, despite me being in the EA Content Creators Program for about a year now, if you followed this channel, my Twitter, my, you know, follow me on Twitch, you know that I've never shied away from criticizing the game. I don't know if I've ever been more negative towards a, towards a game than I had been for NHL 18. Of course, it came from a place of wanting to see the game improve, and I was hardly alone in this community when it comes to that. Whether it be ditching the idea of a hut series on YouTube after having a lot of fun with Borks Battalion in NHL 17, whether it be using the points in hut that EA gift to content creators for packs, uh, whether it be spending uh, those points and then the subsequent coins on opening silver packs to get a Chris Rumble, which we did, uh, over 4 million coins spent, if I'm not mistaken, uh, whether it be the numerous hours ranting and raving on multiple platforms about franchise mode changes, gameplay, roster editing, hot, the absurdity of a million 99 overall cards, you get the point. I've never been quiet about my opinion on where the series was, and I'm still not going to be quiet in my opinion. And I haven't been for over the past day or so on Twitter and Twitch since the beta has dropped. And the, the way I can really sum it up is that a friend of mine joked that it's almost as if a different developer made this game. That is how much has been improved, and you can see that in just the beta. Of course, with the beta, Online versus NHL 3's, the new Ones mode, and EASHL, there's still a lot more to see. But with what we've seen already, it's... It's incredible. My only complaints are very minor ones and are usually the type to get fixed thanks to running a beta, uh, the on-screen glitch in ones, uh, fights after a big hit in the ASHL are causing the game to crash, which can we just remove that in general and allow big hits to simply be uh, general connectivity, you know, people are having a lot of trouble trying to get into EASHL drop-ins. Again, it's a beta, so it's fine for me. That's not a major negative. Those are the type of things to get hashed out. Aside from that, everything else is a positive. The skating is the best it's ever been. They didn't lie about truly being able to see the difference in player types with the height and weight. The addition of the stamina meter, the energy meter, which in the ones game mode, some people are saying it's it's a little bit too harsh with how much uh, it you know ends up going down, for lack of a better term, throughout the gameplay. And I kind of agree with it, but at the end of the day, ones is more of a, an arcade-style game mode. In EASHL, it's not really a big deal, and the stamina you won't really notice until you're on a PK, or if you're really the type to just hustle around the ice all the time, then you're going to get into trouble. The new skating system is spectacular. You can actually deke now, rather than having to rely on just the right stick to dangle, so imagine that, you know, the left bumper and all the, all the other random dekes, the spinoramas, all of that is now incredibly useful especially with the uh, specialties, the uh, specialities, and the traits that they've added into EASHL, which are also amazing. 
Of course, one of the big things they've hyped up, you can actually hit in this game, and the new checking system is incredible. I've tried to line up some hip checks. I feel like the the ability to hip check, even though it's the same button combo on Xbox LB and R3, I feel like it it's much more responsive and easier to pull off. Uh, but obviously, hip checks are a lot more situational, so I haven't been able to do that as much. Uh, but the open ice hits are incredible. The ability to seal out somebody on a hit, and I've had it happen. Hopefully, I remember to put the clip in at the very least, uh, where I've had it happen where someone's you know going down the sideboards in the neutral zone. You get the right angle on them, seal them out, steal the puck, back down the other way, and you score a goal. It's, it is so, so satisfying. You can't spam poke checks anymore, and it's glorious. The world is nearly flooded with the tears of those who are whining non-stop about not being able to spam anymore. And I find it funny because I know the majority of those people are the same people who were whining about EA never changing anything, and they have to make changes, and here we are. They make a major change, yet those people are still complaining because now they have to learn a new system. But no, it's it's the game's fault. It's broken. Fix it, EA. It's broken. No, it's not broken. And screw those people. It's perfect. It's a change. It's something you have to adapt to. And I beg EA, I plead EA not to change it. Do not. You got it right. Please, for the love of God, it feels like every year with this beta, you end up listening to the more vocal minority. Although, obviously, a lot of people, fellow creators, fellow, you know, whatever else have been very vocal, uh, the majority saying, we love it, keep it, and I pray, if you don't listen to me, listen to them, do not change this. It is something you have to adapt to. I have taken four penalties, I think now it's four penalties, four tripping calls, and about nine games played of EASHL, two of those trips were in game one. Adapt, learn it, make sure you're in a proper position, it's more realistic, and I think that's what this game is. Again, they have constantly tried to find the perfect balance between realism and arcade, and I feel like that stick checking is a great example, where if you are in the right position, you're going to get the puck nine times out of ten. If you're not, you're going to take a tripping call. It's that simple. That's how it should be. Anyway, the list continues. Again, I mentioned the ener uh, the energy bar. It's tremendous. The FIFA-esque trait system, which again is tremendous. That little bit of customization that you can now have on top of the player builds. I think it's perfect, because again, I was one of the people who happened to really be in favor of player builds, so I really liked that they didn't take that away, but gave us a little bit more that we could do to alter these builds and kind of make it our own, as opposed to going back to the old system, you know, Legend 3 and all of that. Uh, one of the minor things, players' heads actually follow the puck now, so just by default, you're in better positioning, because of course, if your head's turned to the left, your shoulders are slightly turned, and just, it, it's, it's a fucking, it's a, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, the new sellies are great. The ultimate warriors shaking the ropes. Sure, in real life, the guy might have been a dick, but that celebration is tremendous. Uh, the hockey bag system for both player and club unlocks, incredible. It's not microtransaction based, which again was shocking when I first heard that news. I, I would personally, the funny thing is, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm our, I'd be fine with it being microtransaction based if you wanted to get 10 hockey bags for $7 or whatever. I'd be fine with that because in gaming, I'm okay with uh, anything appearance based, you know, having microtransactions. You look at a Rocket League, you look at a Fortnite. That's the example that I am okay with, right? Uh, obviously, some different examples where, you know, playing Fortnite and everything, it's free outside of, you know, the save the world mode. Still, I would have been okay with it. And even then, they had all the reason in the world to make it microtransaction-based, and they didn't. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, really, for a game where they always say, well, the budget's that much smaller than every other major EA Sports game. Still, though, it's just, wow, bravo for that. The new menu looks great. Uh, one of the things I was going to touch up upon, uh, people saying, I, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, as far as the hitting system goes, I've seen a lot of people say, like, bumps in the back are overpowered. I'd rather have it be overpowered than do absolutely nothing, because even then, you still have to be in somewhat good position to bump somebody in the back. From what I have seen, at least, you can't be a full stride behind someone and fully extend your arms, bump them in the back, and knock them off the puck. So, I don't think that's an issue. That's something random that just came to mind. The point is, I went from having 
the majority of my regular audience, at least on Twitch, subscribe to an anti-gameplay stance for 18 based on my rants and opinions. Uh, to now being in a position where I can only praise this game, and I'm overjoyed that that is the case. I never would have expected it. And like I said, uh, I don't know, maybe some people will be like, oh, EA told you to be positive. No. And, you know, you think they would have for NHL 18. <laughs> With all the... All the negatives. I am I am the guy who, granted, this was before the partnership, still put out a video saying the next special edition of NHL should come with a bottle of lube for how fucked you're going to get. Or fucked you're going to be, to uh, be a little bit more uh, proper in my English there, I suppose. Uh, yet they still partnered me. So, again, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's an indictment on them. <laughs> I don't know. But that's, that's the point. I'm honest with my opinions here. And... It's weird, because I've been pleased with betas before. Typically, every year, I find myself in this spot where, I, I don't know, no doubt that part of it's down to the next game being the shiny new toy. But this year especially, it's because I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I can see this game being as great as it truly can be and as it should have been for the past few years now. They've tried, like I said, to hit the mark for so long on gameplay that finds that perfect middle ground between fun and realism. And unbelievably, only one year after releasing NHL 18, they seem to have hit that mark. It's incredible. And with that, uh, the narrative that I only like to be negative may very well officially be dead because I've spent uh, this entire 11 plus minute video so far, and rightfully so, praising this developer for a job well done. From here... I can only beg and plead for them to not make drastic changes. Glitches and bugs, sure, but don't change anything in a major way. Give it time. Give people the time to adapt and adjust. Don't listen to that initial outrage. Uh, people don't like change. Some don't at the very least, but please, just leave it. You've done so well. And as it is, we still have so much to see how you're going to handle Hut this year, for the love of God. FIFA has like 499 overall cards this year. You have 750. That's an exaggeration, but not by much. We still have so much to see with franchise mode, which you know, I mean, that's that's my home base. I'm excited for it, despite the fact that every year, I play hundreds of games of EASHL. It used to be thousands. Uh, <laughs> just, I'm excited. I'm more excited for September, for this September, than I possibly could have imagined but now I want to know what you guys think. Your opinions on the beta, good or bad, let me know down in the comments below. If there's something I didn't talk about or forgot to mention, either let me know, or if I remember, I'll bring it up and talk about it in the comments. Wow. That's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks to those especially that support the video and the channel beyond just giving up the time in your day to watch. I am Overjoyed24 here, and I will see you guys next time.